Hey guys, Brian Holder here. Brian Holder, Graphic Design. Got a real quick WYSIWYG Web Builder 8 tutorial for you, and I'm going to show you right now how to make a 960 grid uh, using the system, and we're going to use the guides. So if you don't have your guides turned on, uh, I have to recall how to do this. It's been a while. Perhaps it's in Tools. No, View, maybe. Okay, turn on the rulers, and turn on ruler guides. Uh, and uh, you'll know that they're on by, by this little icon on the side. It'll be highlighted with the, I don't know if this is orange or tan or whatever color that is. Um, <clears throat> and then if you go to, I think it's in Tools, Customize, Toolbars, Keybar Menu, Options. Someplace, um, Guide Settings. Here we go. It's under Arrange. If you go to Ruler Guides, uh, Guide Settings here. And you can actually change the color of the guide that you want. So you can change the grid. So you see how I have this dotted grid here as the background? I do that for alignment. And you can you can actually change how far apart those are. And then uh, you can also change these guides I'm going to pull out. I use a hot pink color because it's a little bit easier for me to see. I don't typically use that color in my design. Um, so I know that that's a grid. So speaking of hot pink, we're going to paste in our size. So what is a 960 grid? Well, 960 grid was created uh, some time ago, probably, uh, I'd say probably five, six years ago now. And it, uh, it's a way of keeping your website proportional. Um, so it, what it is, is it's 60 pixels wide, okay, a column, okay, and it's 60 pixels wide with 10 pixels of padding on each side for a total of 80 pixels. And what you do is you get 12 columns, right, of this size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out a couple of these right now. And all I did to make, uh, make this was just, these are just two shapes. One box, 60 pixels. One box, 80 pixels. And I just gave them different colors and layered them on top of each other so we could see them better. But that's all that that is that I'm pasting. All I had was had a copy and I'm just pasting it in. So I'm going to add a couple of these, probably four, I guess, just to get started. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do all 12. So there's four. Control C, Control V to copy and paste. There's eight. You see how I'm checking this to make sure that these are lined up perfectly. And there's all 12. And so, if we were to highlight all of these, which we'll do in a second once I get these lined up, I just hit Control A. You'll see we have a. Um, oh, it's not giving me a good size here. All right, I guess I can't tell doing that, but it is 916. If we check this pink box which is the 80 pixels wide you'll see it has a position of 880 so if you add 80 to the figure 880 you come up with 960 which is the width of the of the page that we're shooting for here so 960 pixels is wide enough to fit onto a 13 inch screen uh, which is about the smallest laptop you can buy I think you get them in 11 inch now but um, you know, the WYSIWYG web builder is not uh, not very good at responsive or mobile design, so that's about the smallest screen size I think you have to worry about, and 960 is a, a nice width. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start dragging out these guides, so that way I don't have to work around these boxes continually. Um, so what I'm going to do is drag it out to where it looks like it's about right, and then I'm going to use this down here, where it got the X and the Y axis, to make sure it's perfect. So once I get it to where I know it's about right, all I got to do is find the even number, which is going to be 70 in this case, because we have a box of 60 pixels plus this 10 pixels of padding. 60 and 10 is 70. So, and what you'll notice too is that when you first drag out your, your ruler, you'll see that the X doesn't change, it doesn't move. Uh, so what you got to do is drag it out, drop it, and then start moving it, and then it'll pick up. And also, make sure if you don't have any, if you have something selected, like that box, see how now I move this ruler? It won't change. It'll, it'll always give you whatever your selection is. So make sure nothing is selected. So what I'm going to do next is try to find the center where the padding is. So there's 80 pixels there. It's probably it. That's well, not probably it. It is it. And then I'm drag this one out. There's 90, so there's that. Ninety plus sixty is one hundred and fifty. So there's that one. I'm gonna go to one seventy. 
Is that right? So it went right. Yeah, I guess that is right. And then 160. And I'm just going to continue to do this on down, all the way down, so that way, um, when it's all said and done, I won't have to work around all these boxes. I'll just have these guides, which, you know, I, I can select around them. I don't have to worry about accidentally selecting a box and then having to deselect the box and all that mess. It's much easier. And again, the reason I do this is so now I can have even columns and, you know, things are the same from page to page to page. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll actually, once I'm done with this, I am going to create a template out of this. And I'll put it up on the website so you guys can download it and use it. Alrighty, so that was a real quick tutorial. Uh, if you like this video or any of my videos, please hit the thumbs up. It makes me want to do more of them for you. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks.